Good afternoon and greetings. Um, if you listen to the radio show, you know I'm sponsored by Spikes Tactical and have been for some time. And part of what we do is annually they will build me a gun. For this year, we decided to build a truck gun. Now, to me, a truck gun is something short, compact, probably a pistol configuration. Uh, and yes, I did do a pistol configuration, even in these uncertain ATF times, even though I think the Supreme Court sort of killed that. But that's, that's a story for another day. I wanted a truck gun because, let's face it, I get out and I go places that are a little further away than an hour to the house. And I wanted to be in a state of preparation because I never know what's going to happen. In 2020, 2021, I was talking constantly about people getting caught up in protests and everything, making the right turn or something and finding themselves in a bad situation. And in some take, in some cases, at least in Austin, Texas, that actually led to people being shot. Initially, if something happens in front of me, I will probably be carrying my SIG P320 or M18 as this one actually is. This is where it's set up. It's got the new Holosun EPS on it, and it's got a TLRS-8 from Streamlight on the front of it. Uh, it runs like a Swiss watch. And that'll be good, I guess. If it's a simple situation that is going to call for pure self-defense and it's not some big disparity of force thing that's putting itself on me. In the event of some big big disparity of force thing that puts itself on me the truck gun got finished and this is it by spikes tactical 300 blackout um let's go into everything that i did with it because initially it was just it was just a ar pistol with a ar pistol tube on the back of it so we got a new tube and a SB3, SB tactical brace on the back of it. Always keep your strap on that when you get one of those. The sling is a Faro concept sling. I like this sling. Uh, this sling adjusts this adjustment part of it right there. That is one of the easiest adjustment setups I've ever seen. I mean, if you pull it back, it's going to go. And if you pull it up, it's going to go. I mean, it's just easy peasy to run. Then... Thankfully, Fab Defense had been kind enough to send me some backup sites a while back, and they were just sitting, sitting in the blister pack in the uh, in a drawer, and I found them and I stuck them on there. Hollow Sun 403 for the optic. I. With Faro Concepts, when you with Faro Concepts, Faro Concepts is going to send you a, the sling I got had nothing on it, so I sort of uh, uh, cannibalized some pieces off of a uh, sling by uh, Blue Force Gear. I like this sling better. Magpul M Lock angle foregrip, and for a light. I have the Olite Odin. It mounts with a uh, Picatinny rail type attachment. This is the setup. The main problem is that I was only able to find 200 rounds of two, 300 blackout. That was the main problem. So that meant when I went and decided to go test it on the range in order to retain some ammunition... I had to be sort of sparse with the actual trigger time on it. But I did take three magazines with me. And uh, someone who's never shot 300 Blackout, this was going to be a new thing for me. One thing I want to point out about the gun as it is set up. Well, the, the gun itself is uh, a fairly standard, although, you know, Spikes is a high-quality maker, the R2 the R2 muzzle device. This, for it to have only an 8-inch barrel on it, this gets rid of everything that you may have to worry about as far as that big blast, that big fireball that comes out there. Um, or at least it did in the daylight. And so let's go take a look at how it shot, and then when we get back, we'll talk about uh, 
you know, how I carry this and, and what my thought process is with it. So here we are, back again. So I drive a 2021 Ford F-150 pickup truck, and the whole back seat flips up. And this sits underneath it beautifully, unobtrusive, doesn't, it doesn't touch anything. So the way I carry it is I just lay it on its side and uh, leave it that way. In the event that I did have, if I do have to, say, abandoned truck, which that's going to be a whole heap of something else if I have to abandon my truck. I will also snatch this. I looked all over to find a, uh, I, apparently 511 Tactical doesn't make it anymore, but this is a 511 Tactical bag that I found a few years back. It holds four magazines in the top. It has a very spacious interior pouch. I have woven into the molly on the strap I have a Dark Angel Dark kit which uh, this is one of the best blowout kits you can find out there, a very good trauma kit which comes with everything you need and uh, just absolutely high quality ingredients which when first aid is happening that's a, that, that might be a thing you want to be concerned with I will also carry in it three spares for my M18, three of the 21 round spares in addition to five, hopefully five or six magazines. I only have four right now and one that goes in the gun, and that's all the ammo I've got. And I've got a couple of pairs of gloves and my uh, Scallywag tactical folder and a few other things in this. And this, this would be what I would jump out with. This can either be worn as a bandolier, right? Or if you wanted to, you could actually put it over you and cinch it up a little bit and wear it as a chest rig. I don't know what to tell you it's called because it's not on the 511 website anymore. So in the event that I have to jump out of the vehicle, that would be what I have. I am thinking about changing that. I am thinking about changing that. Uh, I do have to solve the ammunition issue because five magazines is not a whole lot if you have to maybe get out of a city or something. It's not. It's just not enough to me. And for the short term, what I will probably do is is carry a five five six AR with me in the interim till I solve the ammunition issue. But the thing I like about this is this just shot beautifully, absolutely beautifully. It came together in large part to uh, I, some of these parts I bought at Shooter's Choice in West Columbia, South Carolina, and. Uh, they were kind enough just to install these on here for me since I paid for them. But it's a, it's a really nice, it's not, it's not a very heavy platform, a very nice, even base platform. I, the, the grip, everybody's asking me about this grip. I don't know. It, it came from spikes. That's their grip. That's their pistol grip. So just a quick look, a quick glance at this, uh, you know, it's a truck gun, nothing fancy, but absolutely effective. And, I think it is a prudent thing in today's world, protecting you and yours, to uh, make sure that you have enough. It's better to take more than you need than to not take an, as much as you might need and find yourself needing it. That's just my opinion. Hope you like this kind of uh, content. Give me a thumbs up. That would be really nice. I'm working on, uh, I'm trying really hard to 
hit 40,000 subscribers. So if you would maybe think about subscribing, I'd appreciate that as well. Um, and, uh, hey, thanks for taking the time to give this a look. I am out of here.